And welcome back to part eight. I wanted to get my fingers right when I did it. Part eight of What If Naruto Had a Zanpakuto, the Ichimonji edition. Last time we were about halfway through the tuning exam's first. Well, that's not exactly right. The statement I was about to say. We're far, halfway through the preliminary matches of the tuning exams that we left off with Naruto's match with Kiba. So as that came up, just to recount real quick. Quick, Sasuke won his fight actually very easily because he no longer had, didn't have the curse mark. And Sakura actually managed to win her fight with Ino through a little bit of trickery thanks to the Genjutsu that Kakashi had taught her, the Cherry Blossom Jutsu that Ino didn't expect. So now we cut over to the, you know, eventually we get through a couple of the other matches that came up. I believe Keen's and Tamari and Tenten's match came out beyond that. Nothing changes with that at all. Uh, although Naruto does uh, point out uh, surprisingly that, you know, hey, those, point out to Tenten as she comes back, hey, I really like the way you use those storage shields. I didn't know, storage shields, reminds me kind of like the way I use it, except, you know, using the strings in tandem, Sasuke did that, and, you know, he kind of just starts going off a little, like, Midori a little bit, it's like, wait, you like to use seals? Oh, yeah, I, seals are awesome. It's like, I know, right? Seals are really cool. No one, no one in the village really likes to use seals anymore. And it's like, oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. We, well, maybe we could talk about it later. It's like, yeah, sure. It's like, and Hinata's like, hmm, what's it, Naruto's really getting along well with her. Oh, is he interested in her? Oh, no. Um, we were doing so well, too. What did I do wrong? What can I do? In her head, mind you, she's doing that. Meanwhile, Kakashi's like, oh, Naruto's becoming quite the ladies' man, I see. And then, obviously, N Naruto gets paired up with Kiba's. All right, we've got the, oh, all right, we've got the twerp, uh, or we got the brat. Akamaru, this is our lucky day. And, uh, you know, Kiba goes down and's like, huh, so K uh, Kiba thinks it's going to be a lucky match, is that right? But, all right then, we'll see what, we'll see how lucky he thinks it is. And, he, you know, he, he takes Ichimonji, because Ichimonji is, like, is on a strap on his back. He basically keeps it that way, so he's, you know, not always just carrying it. Uh, but, you know, he puts Ichimonji against the wall that goes down, uh, goes down to the uh, preliminary match. And Hinata, I think, being the one up there, because... She and Kerr and I are the only people who were really next to uh, Naruto at that point, besides Team 7. Does ask the question why Naruto didn't take down his brush. I mean, she assumes it's a very useful uh, ninja tool and be useful in combat. To which Kakashi basically says, like, oh, it'd be very, it's very useful in combat. Believe me, I've seen what it can do, and it's a scary, it's a scary powerful tool. Um, uh, or a scary powerful weapon, no doubt about it. But unfortunately, uh, Naruto made a promise not to use it against any leaf ninjas. Uh, uh, it's ordered by the third Okage, which Kerr and I actually points out, like, is, is that brush really that powerful? You have no idea what that brush can do. <laughs> uh, but Naruto goes down, and, you know, he's squaring off, and, you know, Kiba obviously insults him like he does in the original. He's like, you don't think a twerp like you's gonna be Okage? You couldn't even, you were the dead last in the academy. Come on, I'll be Okage. That's right. And he just laughs at Naruto. And Kiba rushes in. And Naruto does take the hit, initially. And then, you know, gets up. And kind of brushes himself off low. He's like, "Is that the best you got, Kiba?" <laughs> it's like, "Oh, I see. Uh, well, then let's let's try uh, let's try this." And he comes at Naruto, who immediately just <laughs> does this, and basically slams his feet, uh, hands on the ground, and a barrier seal comes up. Because Naramba Naruto has little seals on his hands; they can just boop, get ink and just <laughs> and basically just immediately boom, uh, and basically made the barrier seal like he did against Haku. And Kiba immediately hits that seal, but because Naruto's fresh and ready to fight, that seal's got some power in it. <laughs> uh, apart from adding the chakra, Naruto made sure to add the appropriate amount of shield, uh, seals, you know, ka ka uh, Kajin? Kajin? Is that the name of it? Uh, characters, if you will, for the seal, to make it pretty strong. And Kiba clashes right into it. It's like, boom! Like, what the hell? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Kiba, uh, uh, but we, uh, but I'm not in any mood to really be playing, playing with uh, dogs today. No offense, Akamari. And Akamari just rawr, barks at him, but he's got clones all around, all, coming on all sides of the gate around, uh, around Kiba. It's like, what the? How's it? It's like, what do you think you're do doing, Naruto? Oh, I'm basically just uh, keeping you, uh, queuing you up. To which Naruto basically then just, you know, uses the seal again on his hand. Uh, to basically kind of like fire this, fire the barrier at Kiba, basically, because really it's only this. It, what's the best way for me to put the, make this sense work? 
it's on the floor. That's where the seal is. But Naruto also has the seals on his hands. So he can, basically what he does is kind of fire the chakra outward, causing the basically the wall of chakra to kind of slam Kiba around a little bit. Kiba's able to get away from that, though, uh, and get uh, and recoup Dakamaro. And it's like, all right, Akamaro. It's like, no more screwing around with this, uh, screwing around with Naruto here. And basically, he's just, you can tell Naruto is, you know, ready for actual fighting. <laughs> and isn't going to be as easy as you thought. So he's just like, you want to see what we're really made of? Terry going, Mark Amaro, take a food pill. And basically, you know, he, you know, gives Akamaro the world transformed Beast Claw Mimicry. And it's like, well, this, this doesn't look good. Too bad you're not going to be able to do anything with that, uh, Akiba. What the hell are you talking about? Fang over Fang! And Naruto just stand there, and all of a sudden, boom, he hits another barrier. And as uh, and he, boom, and Akamaru hits another barrier, and there's boom, boom, boom. What the heck is going on? Everyone's just looking at this and all. Like, Kiba, for what it's worth, was keeping an eye on the Naruto clones, but he wa he knew that was the original Naruto he was going after. And the other clones were just standing by, so he wanted to go straight for uh, Naruto, but he's now tra realizes he's trapped in a He's trapped in this barrier, similar to what happened with the third Okage in Orochimaru. And, uh, uh, you know, he sees that the Naruto clones he made, they weren't trying to, like, do anything, like, attacking or anything like that. They were working on, like, uh, ma uh, like another barrier. And this time, they're putting everything they had into it. And Naruto even points out, like, I, fi I figured you'd want to go straight for me. That's why I made sure the clones didn't do anything drastic until they, uh, until they uh, got this all set up. It's like, what is this? Why? You just saw what I did last time, Dog Breath. It's a seal. Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty much an up version of what I did last time. I uh, added a couple. More, added a couple more characters. Put out a bit more chakra in there. And because of my clones, I was able to do it on our front on uh, a lot quicker. Normally, this takes multiple people to do. Fortunately, and they just kind of makes an extra clone just to prove the point. Poof, I can be multiple people anytime I want. And sure enough, Kiba and Akamaru are basically now trapped in a chakra dome. And basically. It's like, you've lost, Kiba. It's like, <laughs> lost? You think we've lost? And, you know, come on, Akamaru, let's show him a way to do it. Again, they're just pounding at the at the um, berry. And Kiba's thing over front is powerful enough. But Naruto, this is probably, Naruto's had at least a little bit of time to practice on some more advanced barriers. This is something where Kiba's attack isn't going to be able to get through it. If it were, say, shipping in Kiba, who's got, who's, Akamaru's grown up a lot more, a lot more powerful. Yeah, he might be able to get through this barrier. In fact, I'd even say he probably could, although we'd still take it'd still be able to take some of the force. Here, Akamaro and Kiba are just boom, bouncing off walls. It's like, all right, guys, now nah, let's uh, basically let's end this. And they basically, they make a hand seal, and the barrier starts to shrink in. It's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, what is this? It's like, it's over, Kiba. You've lost. It's like, uh, huh? You really think you you really think we've lost? All you got, all we gotta do is wait for you to undo this barrier. It's like, yeah, the thing about it is the barrier's going to last until I basically undo the seal. So, yeah, bro. <laughs> and Kiba's like, what? No, I can get out of this. Well, if you can get out of it, then show me you can get out of it. Otherwise, I'm calling the match. <laughs> and he's like, damn it, damn it, damn it. It's like, uh, all right, excuse me. And then which they, which, because uh, Kiba, I could imagine being, would be this rash. Pulls out an explosive. And it's like, Aim and Art's like, Kiba, are you nuts? It's like, <laughs> just gonna blow us out of here, Akamaro. It's like, and even Akamaro's like, Earth, yeah, it's like, oh, Kiba, don't do it. And uh, Kurna is like, too late. And Twitch Naruto actually undoes the seal and basically has to, you know, and uses basically like a ninja wire to kind of like get uh, the explosive tag in the last minute and just boom, it still explodes pretty close to both of them. Naruto just, <clears throat> and like his ninja wire just got right. It's like, well, I'm gonna have to use some of the other ninja wire in there, because it's not the only ninja wire he has. Meanwhile, Kiba and Akamaru just, I told you we could get out of there. <laughs> right? Akamaru Akamar and Akamaru is just like, Rrr. not dead, obviously, but yeah. Uh, uh, damn it. Yeah, reckless fool. Uh, told you the bear. It's, this match is still on to which Naruto immediately just, uh, immediately just boom! Oh! You know, as a clone just kind of like appears, like, did you forget it? You forgot I had clones. Uh, you really thought that my clones were gone just because, you know, you were focused. Uh, I the barrier was completed, and yeah, and Kiba's just now just like, Ooh! <laughs> darn it, God. it's like the and Naruto actually again thanks to you know a little bit of Ichimanji being you know from Ichibe and the wisdom because that was what Ichibe's uh, why he was one of the five war potentials was his level of wisdom. 
It's like, you know, that, uh, that was a ballsy move, Kiba, but you really can't, you can't be so reckless like that because you you don't work by yourself. You work with your, you work with a, someone. You work with a, you have Akamaru here. What would have happened if Akamaru had gotten hurt or if I hadn't brought the barrier down in time? Would you have really been able to live with yourself with that if you had something happened to him? And Kiba's just like, you. But then he looks at what Akam, how Akamaru was and he realizes, crap, Naruto's right. When the hell does Brat become this, you know, intelligent? Uh, it's like, you can call it now, Raph. It's like, the Kiba's unable to bow. The winner's Naruto is a Maki. You know, Star goes, yeah, that's my teammate. <laughs> and Naruto just walks up there. And everyone's really got their eyes now on Naruto. Like, holy crap. Like, this this guy, this kid is actually pretty smart. <laughs> and he's very skilled. My tent is like, oh my god, the way you use that. And I knew you or said you used seals. But holy crap, that was awesome. Yeah, I know. Kind of cool, right? <laughs> um... Thanks for cheering me on, Sakura. You too, Hinata. He's like, oh, um, thank you. <laughs> he's like, he's giving me more compliments. Yay! But she goes down and gets the ointment to Kiba, obviously. And, you know, Tamari's even looking at Naruto. He's like, well, he's actually got more going for him than I thought. And Kakura's like, like, looking at him a bit more, you know, he's like, ugh. Def definitely not someone I want to be dealing with. Uh, <laughs> this this kid's may seem loud and brash, but he's dangerous. And Gara's looking at him like, Oh, mother would love your blood. Meanwhile, you get the Neji Hinata fight. Pretty much all the fights now still go the same. Hinata, sadly, has not had the growth of a character or improvement of her abilities or anything like that to really do any much better against Neji. I think Naruto giving her, you know, the thumbs... I think Naruto... I think it pretty much just goes the same. She's had a little bit more interaction with Naruto, which maybe helps her confidence. If we're going by a percentage scale, if her confidence is 5 out of 100, which... Let's be fair, that kind of is he not a little bit, at least in part one. Naruto's interaction with her maybe bumped her up to a seven or an eight. Not enough to really do anything. Maybe she could get one lucky strike in on like his hand. And be like, and he'd even realize like, she actually wasn't able to get a strike coming. And then boom. Now, that being said, the one thing I could see here is, you know, Naruto almost wanting to grab Ichibanji and, you know, just grab uh, Neji and just take him out, but that doesn't happen. All the other matches, they go the same. So, now, here's something that is different, though. Here is something that is different. Because Sakura is there, that does arguably change the matchups to some degree. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to look up... I know how the matches played out, obviously. We know what the matches were. I couldn't remember, though, what numbers they... Actually, I can remember what numbers they are, because that's what the, they came up. So, Naruto got one. Neji got two. Um, so, so, with Sakura there, there would be the extra one, which would be her versus most likely her. And it all depends on what uh, who comes up and, you know, takes their... Um, think words here. Takes their number first. For the sake of, in a future what if, where Sakura is able to make it to the finals, I will actually put into consideration the random changes. But for now, we're just going to say she goes up against Dosu. I normally do that, but it occurs to me that because she's there, I mean, I suppose you could just make it she chose last. That That's, I guess, the way you could arrange it, and the, that's the way that happens. So I guess that's that's logical. But I think for a, for a different what if, we will actually look at what if um, Sakura, you know, how that changes the actual matchup. Because that could, uh, depending on what order they go in, that could change the matchup. I think they probably went out, like, in some sort of alphabetical order. Anyway, so, you know, they go, they leave, you know, worried about Rock Lee, all that good stuff. But no, Naruto's is like, all right, get on some some training. It's like, and obviously Kakashi's going to go train Sas Sasuke. Naruto's annoyed by this. But at the same time, Ichimanji says, don't worry, Naruto, we can spend the we can spend the month working on our seals and working the train with me even more. And plus, now that the, now that the fox has been able to get, allow you some of his chakra, it'd be important to try to learn how to uh, actually use it effectively in battle. So we have plenty of things we can train on. Oh, that's a good point. It's like, all right, fine. It's like, all right, that's fine, whatever, Kakashi. Uh, and Naruto's about to leave, and Kakashi's like, well, wait, Naruto, I, I still found your trainer. I'm not I'm not going to neglect you. Per, uh, I'm not going to actually neglect you. I'm going to make sure you get trained. And I made sure to actually talk with Kurenai, too, to do some, uh, uh, Kurenai to help out Sakura a little bit. It's like, Sakura training with Kurenai sensei? It's like, hmm, indeed. It seems, uh, it seems I was right. She does have a knack for Genjutsu. And Kurenai's the best Genjutsu user in the village. So, it made sense to kind of help her out with that. 
Uh, but here, I found you a better trader. And there's a series like, yo, you gotta be kidding me. Not this guy. Not come on. Not, not this, not per, EBA, not this pervy Ebisu guy. Oh, you two know each other? Yeah, he saw my harem jutsu one time. Because <laughs> I still think that happened in this version. Um, is it a oh, harem jutsu now? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Now, I do think, though, Naruto is a bit more receptive to Ebisu. He's not, like, openly trying to avoid him, per se. He isn't happy about Ebisu, because he's seen Ebisu, you know, with Konohamaru. And I actually think, because of the, uh, the nature of Ichimanji, and because he takes a little bit of traits of Ichibei from that, he is actually able to point out, it's like, look, I don't know, I, you know, look, I'm, look, I'm trying to get stronger here, all right? I gotta fight Neji in the finals. Yeah, my fundamentals may need work, okay? But I, there's other things I can work on. I have, I have seals to work on. I got, I uh, can practice with my, uh, with my brush, so... If you are going to train me, don't waste my time like you were with Konohamaru. It's like, I, how dare you? I wasn't wasting the Konohamaru grandson's time. Yeah, uh, uh, which Naruto correctly points out, you were instilling, you were basically uh, telling him that you were the fast track to becoming Okage. That's a bull, that's a bull statement. There is no easy way to become Okage. Yeah, he should have told him that from the beginning. Maybe he wouldn't have found you so, uh, so obnoxious back then. And it, Anyway, yeah, you say if you're if you're honest about paying for lunch, I, we're going. Get, I'm getting some ramen. To which Ebisu is a little actually taken back by that. It's like, uh, 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 and as they sit at lunch, he actually puts out, uh, as it pains me to say, you may have may have actually had a point. Which what you as rude as it was for you to say, Naruto, some of what you said actually rang true. I I did hope because he was the honorable grandson. Uh, Thurokage's honorable grandson, I held him on a pedestal, and I made it seem like my way was the fast way to become Okage, but I recall later on, but he made mention later on that there is no easy way. I suppose he got a thought from you. It's like, uh, <laughs> he may have gotten something from me like that. Uh, so, which is like, I see. <laughs> maybe I've underestimated, maybe I've, I've underestimated you, or been uh, looking down a bit too harshly on you for your burden, Naruto. And Ebisu acknowledges, yeah, I know you have the Vox. Most of us know you have the Vox. At least the most of the older generation knows you have the Vox. It's like, hmm. Uh, and for that, I apologize. So let's get uh, let's get to it. And you say you want. So you say since you have a few things on you have. In, uh, let me rephrase that sentence because I'm stuttering a bit. Since you have a few things you want to work on your own, will you with me? You can. Uh, we'll be working strictly on your fundamentals. Though your chakra control seems to have improved greatly, it still has a uh, uh, ways to go given the amount of chakra you have. So they practice the water walking technique, and obviously there's like oh, research, research, and you know Ebisu gets floored. It's a keep it down, trying to let, trying to get us caught. Uh, women swoon over me. I am the galleon Jiraiya, and enters Jiraiya. Now I think their first interaction goes pretty much the same. Even Ichimanji is like, oh my, this is shameful. I'm not a little pervert. I'm a big one. Uh, I always love that line. I'm a big one. <laughs> like he has no shame. He's proud of it. Um. Dry is probably one of my favorite characters in this series. I, like, I'd argue he's probably my favorite character. Like, Dry was always like one of, if not my favorite character. Kakashi's like a close second, and I always did like the third, honestly. Uh, honestly, none of the. I, and I honestly, to be fair, I really actually I like Naruto overall in terms of shonen protagonists. Like Naruto and Ichigo, those are two of my more preferred shonen protagonists, definitely. Um, Midoriya's fine. Uh, I've never been a One Piece fan, to be honest, but Luffy's okay. Um, oh, uh, S is actually not bad. I, I haven't read or watched enough Demon's, uh, Black Clover, but no, S is not bad. Uh, and Goku's always a fan favorite, but no, I mean, yeah, I actually didn't mind Naruto, but no, because your eye was always my favorite. Um... So anyway, after bugging him repeatedly, he's like, yeah, all right, fine. Actually, here's the thing. After bugging him for a while, he was like, "Fine, you don't want to help. I already have stuff I can work on anyway. I got, I got, I got uh, seals the, <laughs> I got seals to pay. I got brushes to pay. <laughs> in this world, I don't know where that came from. I just got, <laughs> uh, because I, I, just for some reason I got seals, uh, seals to learn selling truck and I got bills to pay. <laughs> I just went, I got seals to pay. I, got, I, I have no idea where that came from, but it's staying in because I don't edit this shit. Um. Anyway, Dry actually is like, oh, you're working on seals? Not many kids your age want to work on seals. It's like, yeah, what about it? <laughs> what about it? Oh, really? Why don't you... Tell you what, kid. You've got me curious now. 
uh, curious now. Let me show show me what you can do, actually. And obviously, he knows who Naruto is. So you know, Naruto's like, well, you want fine. Why do you want to know? Well, as one seal uh, master to an, uh, to another aspiring seal master, I'm curious what you're what you're trying to do. Wait, you know how to use seals? <laughs> oh, I am I'm probably the world's most for now for not for. Uh, Renowned. That was I was. I don't know where I was going for now with renowned seal user, the Galliant Zuraya. And to which Ichimanji points out because he still has knowledge about some things, um, even though he's been sealed for a while, the signing probably existed well pr uh, before him uh, or well after him. It's like mm, Zuraya. Hmm. Uh, why does that name sound familiar? <laughs> and even Kur Kurama actually pr uh, pod chides up. It's like he. he he was the he was the, uh, he was the master of the damn fourth Okage and da 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 this and that and and said wait oh that and Naruto points out who is it wait you're Jiraiya of the Sunny and say like, oh you know who I am well actually not not the, the uh, not really but Ichimanji did Ichimanji oh my brush <laughs> and say like, wait and then now Jiraiya actually has knows about Ichimanji he's like because he knows about sealing Ozzy and that is a sealing brush among other things. And he realizes that, so, you, you're the one, I, the third had told, and let's, let's go, why don't we go to somewhere private, and they go to the training spot, they go and say, the third had told me someone had finally managed to, uh, unlock that brush, uh, that is, that's an heirloom of the Uzumaki, the very first Uzumakis, uh, <laughs> Ichibe Yozenbe, it's like, wait, Yozenbe? That was the, uh, that was the original user of the brush, uh, it's so, like, wait, but I thought it was an Uzumaki, oh, yes, <laughs> Well, it is. He married into the use. He married a woman named by the name of insert name here. Honestly, why don't we just use the? You know, I just realized we could, since we're using a bleach character right now. Why don't we just use another bleach character? Hold on, because uh, there's the zero division. There's two female characters in the bleach um, uh, zero division. So uh, where is her name? Uh, one second. That can be the wife, and that can be the Zamaki. Just for a little. That, that is really just fan theory right there. Um, Okay, let's see here now. Uh, where is that woman's name? Uh, it's weird. She looks like a Ron Giku a lot in terms of when she's skinny, but she's very, you know, she puts on a lot of weight for her, like, abilities and stuff like that because it drains a lot of her uh, riatsu. Uh, oh, there it is. Kiro Hikifune. Uh, so, in this case, it'd be Kiro Uzumaki. Uh, and they basically decide just to name the clan after her instead of him. Oh, okay. So, I guess I'd be Naruto Hiyozenbe in another reality, I suppose. And it's like, yeah. Yeah, you know, that's really not a bad name. Oh, I didn't think so either, to be frank. Um, but anyway, so show me what you can do. And he shows off basically everything he's capable of doing. He shows off his Shadow Clone Jutsu, including learning the exploding Shadow Clone Jutsu. Um, he shows off what he can do with Ichibang or Ichimanji. Careful not to hit your eye, obviously, with the ink. Uh, he sh and then he shows off basically, he shows off how he's used his seals from, you know, Obviously, the barrier seals, which Nar Dry actually says he's very impressed by seeing the barrier seals. He's also gotten it started out, started base in basic chakra absorption and release seals, to which he has on Ichimanji, so he can basically you know absorb an enemy's you know chakra based attack and throw it back at him. Which, uh, Dry actually claims is very, very clever. And then the big ones he shows Jiraiya is the storage seals, and particularly the little seals for the ink seals, to which Dry actually I think goes, that's so basic and yet it's brilliant how the hell did i never think of that i think like, i'm i gotta admit kid you are for you're young and you got a long way to go but in terms of you know your potential it is frightening how well you've come along oh that's that actually means a lot coming from you uh so uh, and uh, so tell me and then he basically uh, says well how about i can show you another thing that has to do with seals as seeing as you want to be focusing on those for for a lot of your trading, I can see. Uh, I mean, that wasn't the game. That was the original game plan, but then explains Abisu and all that. He's like, oh, well, how about this? We'll work on seals and work on training with your brush. After how about that? And he mentions like, well, but you're gonna have to look. You're gonna need a lot of chakra for this, and unfortunately, we're gonna have to train you to use the. Uh, have you ever sensed? He basically says, you ever set, felt like there's a separate chakra? I'm talking about the fox. Like, oh, I see. So you are aware of it. Yeah, but don't worry. Me and him are actually. We're not, we don't really like each other that much, but we're actually going, trying to work things out a little bit. And the fox just kind of huffs, he's like, you're mildly interesting, Brett. That's about it. And it's like, yeah, yeah, but mildly interesting for you is probably, coming from you is probably like, oh my god, I love you for <laughs> Shut up. And, it's like, and B explains that the fox actually gave him access to a certain portion of his chakra. Now, if Naruto focuses hard enough, he can go into the one-tailed state. And he says he hasn't practiced very much with this yet. In fact, 
not really at all. Um, he's like, really? And he, uh, let, uh, really, show me. And he basically he focuses his mind on the seal and takes some chakra and just, when he shows off the chart, he's like, I see, you've actually come a long way, Naruto. All right, then, change of plans. You know, we'll work on sealing and we'll, I'll show you the technique as it is, uh, the cool technique I got in store for you. And he shows off the summoning jutsu. And so Naruto is now spending basically his month splitting up learning the summoning jutsu, trying to actually trying it out with his own chakra as well as the fox chakra, uh, learning more about seals and, you know, practicing with Ichimonji. And uh, here's the thing. Ichimonji does have an actual ability. And, Ichimo and one of the things that uh, Naruto does learn about Ichimonji in uh, in this training is the fact that Ichimonji's ability, while he summons the ink and it, you know, it takes away name, what Ichimonji's actual ability is, is to control black itself. Because that's actually what Ichimonji's real ability truly is. Is that, well, to a degree, it, the, it, it creates the ink from all the black in the world, in the universe, really. Um... And basically, black is his power. And to just kind of uh, belabor that point even more, um, basically what uh, the ability of Ichimanji can actually do once it actually goes into Shikai is um, basically power absorption immunity. It's immune from having, he's immune from having his uh, power stolen because his power is all the black in the universe. And then it actually, its other ability, Futen... Tasa, oh god, I always have a problem with this name. Basically, what it translates to, Futen Tasa Suryo, Suryo, yo, Suryo, uh, anyway, so it translates to Slaughterous Mausoleum of Halted Reincarnation. Each day basically brings forth a massive amount of blackness from his surroundings and fills a cup with it before drinking from the cup. After chanting an incantation, Ichibe creates a large mausoleum with a fence in front of a shattered gravestone out of the blackness. The technique basically takes away all the darkness in his opponent, including their flesh, blood, and bones, until nothing is left. The destruction is so absolute they will not even reincarnate. That is a busted ass move. <laughs> Uh, I'm, and I don't even know if that's the only move this, bell, uh, this, uh, Shikai has, but that is a busted ass move. <laughs> um, and I mean that, th cause this is a broken ass weapon, by the way, a, a lot of people, people gave me one of the most broken ass Zanpakuto to be giving Naruto for his first go. I shouldn't have been surprised by that, by the way, <laughs> when I basically did the ball for this series, uh, they decided to go with the, one of the most broken mother, uh, mother effing Zanpaktos there are. <laughs> If not the most broken. Now, that being said, when we do the next round of these, which won't be for a while, uh, I want to get through like four or five other Naruto What Is before we do the next version of this uh, series. Uh, I will not be including the Zero Division in uh, in the in the poll selection, only because the only other Zero Division member we know who's Bonka or Zanpakuto's name is um, oh god, uh, Hiroko. Uh, I believe that's uh, I believe that's his name. The, uh, or is, no, it's Karinji. Sorry, it's Karinji. That's his name. Uh, Karinji Hiroko, I believe that that's his, uh, I think that's his actual name, right? Ichibe, um, got, uh, what was his name? I know it's Karinji. That's his first name. Uh, oh, Karinji, oh, oh no, Tenjiro Karinji. That's what it is. His last name is Karinji. Um, we do know his Zanpakuto name, and, be, but it's one of the two, only two Zanpakuto's who's I'm not going to be using in the What If series. A, the second one is Tetsu, uh, Iba Tetsuzayamon's uh, Zanpakuto. And that's because we know we know what it looks like, but we don't know what it does, and we don't know its name. With Karinji's, we do know its name, but that's it. We don't never see anything else about it. Other ones like, say, Isane's, where we know its name and what it looks like, but not what it does... I will still use and go by like my Zanpakuto theory video speculation on that. I did do one for Karinji's, but for some, I just don't want to do a zero division back to back with a zero division member. So I'll throw the zero division member back in zero division back in after we go through maybe like two or three other Zanpaktos, just so we have some variety to it and not just like, cause I really had, I really had to struggle with figuring out what his Zanpakuto did. Same with Tetsu Zayamon's. All the other ones, I was able to have a better idea of what they probably did. I digress, though. We're up to the 30-minute mark. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. 
Uh, this is Wednesdays. I know after this is going to be pre-recording the Zompok Toe Theory video, or Zompok Toe Creation Series video after this. So keep your eyes out on that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.